action. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Juan. As y'all can see, I'm back in the kitchen. And tonight I want to show y'all how I make fried shrimp. So let's get started. Alright, for the seasonings, I have my magic shrimp seasoning. And my panko breadcrumbs. I have seasoned flour. And some beat up eggs. Y'all can see it. Beat up eggs. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to do you want to season the shrimps up real good. Just like you would chicken, pork chops, or anything else you cook them. I will be cooking these out of the deep fryer. And as y'all can see, I already have it ready to go. So this shouldn't take too long to, to create. Okay. First thing you want to do is get your shrimps in the flour. Make sure you fly them up real well and shake them off. So what's today? Today is my Monday. What's going on on a Monday night? Any football games on tonight? You know if any football games on? No, I don't know, man. I got... We won the Super Bowl today, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, me and Cuz won the, uh, the Super Bowl with Detroit Lions on that mat today. It's snowing. Snow day. It was a snow day? Yes, it's snowing. It's snowing out here in Detroit. Local forecast. Light snow. Just won't stop snowing. A little light snow. Okay, y'all. All right. Got our flour on them. Trust me, Lee, y'all. This shrimp is delicious. <laughs> so next thing we're going to do is somebody is at my door. All right. The next thing we're going to do is put them in that beat up egg I had made earlier. And then we're going to drop it in our breadcrumbs. Don't worry about nothing. Just, just do these. And we get to the, the breadcrumbs in a minute. Make sure you want to uh, shake off your, your shrimps. Because you don't want to have too much egg on them. It's a lot of them. Trying to hurry up. I know you folks are very busy. Y'all don't have time to sit here and watch a brother batter up 20 shrimp. We're gonna move it in full motion. What was the score? We beat uh we beat uh the Chargers. Yeah, uh, San Diego. 10, yep. 10 to 0. Yeah, 10 to 0. We skunked them bad boys this morning. Got my cousin sneaking around. I don't know what he's doing. I guess he ain't go to work today. <laughs> Speaking of some work, like brother man like me need a little bit of work. It's the work right here. <laughs> it's the work right here. It's the work right we here. We're giving y'all the work the shrimp. right here. That's right, the shrimp. The shaking bag. got him. And my breadcrumbs. What you want to do is just shake them up. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. Roll them in a circle of motion and watch me break them. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? For these right here, I'm just going to put to the side for the sake of this video. 
because we don't have all night with this. So, let's go ahead and get them in the deep fry. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> I can see it in the fray. I can see it in the fray. <laughs> I can see your desire. I can see the shrimps. To come have some of these shrimps. In my soul. And quit acting like a simp. Cameraman acting fool. Shout out to DJ Yellow for filming. Merry Christmas. He on his job tonight. Okay. Now you can wash your hands. Cause sanitizer is a responsibility for sizzles. Oh, look at that. That's your friend, y'all. So, we got them in the deep fryer. And it doesn't really take that long to cook. Maybe about three or four minutes at the most. That's to be all it takes. Oh, I got the uh, the deep fryer on 356. So, you know what I was sitting here thinking. This mix right here, I wonder if it's, you know, if it's cornmeal with the flour mixed. I gotta look at it, man, because it's looking a little weird. But anyway, uh, about a couple of minutes in, I hope everybody having a, a good Monday night. And we're just waiting on this to get done. And then I'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like. And then your boy gonna go ahead and get up out of here. So let's give it a couple more minutes. Now we'll get you a little bowl, put a little paper towel in it to catch that grease. Or you can get you one of these little pans, these little great things right here. Let's see, that shit on there. Don't worry about it. So, Hood Cooking 101. Yeah, this is Hood Cooking 101. And it's looking like they, uh, they are starting to float. And that's how you know when they're done, they start to float up to the top. So, Mm. Yum. I'm just gonna put it in this bowl anyway. So y'all, after about four or five minutes, this is what they looking like. Nice and crispy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See the wings. All right, y'all. That's all I got for y'all tonight. I hope y'all learned something. And I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.